I just found one of the coolest tools out there. Introducing Mermaid Chart. Mermaid Chart is an AI text-based editor and a creator for diagrams and flowcharts. It allows you to create diagrams that are being self-designed as you create them, while eliminating placement and connectivity errors. You may ask, why would you even use this? Well, this is something that is super resourceful for developers as well as just regular users like us who can use the text-based diagrams to help simplify documentation processes and this is something that will overall improve workflows and communication. Just take a look at this demo video which will talk a little bit more about Mermaid Chart. Hello, I'm Dominic and I work on the product team at Mermaid Chart. And today I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what Mermaid Chart is and what you can do with it. Mermaid Chart is a text-based editor and creator for diagrams and flowcharts. And you can see that that text on the left here is actually creating the diagram on the right. It's as simple as just writing one node over to another, or you can use the visual editor to create diagrams. What's really great about Mermaid Chart is that the diagrams self-design as you create them. So you can see as I'm adding nodes here, the diagram is snapping into place and I don't have to worry about any of the placement or uh, connecting arrows, any of that. And so that's the first major advantage of Mermaid Chart. But the second and probably most exciting thing is that text-based diagrams lend themselves really well to AI diagrams. And so in Mermaid Chart, you can come over to the AI chat and you can write your own prompts and generate a full diagram in seconds. Or you can take really dense material or code and simply paste that into the AI chat here or our GPT on the GPT store and get that entire diagram made from scratch based on what you pasted. There are so many uses for this and I'm still finding more every day. But some common ones are documenting your source code, breaking down meeting transcripts, uh, visualizing YouTube videos or podcasts or lecture notes uh, or news articles, anything like that. There's really endless ways to use Mermaid Chart and its AI, and it's only going to get better with time. This is uh, everything for me, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much. Now, wasn't that amazing? In simple terms, Mermaid Chart is used to visualize your ideas with the help of AI. Mermaid Chart enables you to transform your textual descriptions into clear visual representations effortlessly. This tool streamlines the creation process and it enhances the clarity and the impact of your documentation and representation. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be showcasing how you can create these flows, showcasing how you can get started, and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. So let's get started. What I want you guys to do is go over to the mermaidchart.com website and once you are here, you can get started for free. Click on this button on the top right, create an account with Google, GitHub, or just basically with your work email or your personal email. And once you have done this, we'll be then sent over to the dashboard. Now, once you have created your account, you'll be then sent over to the choose your plan page. And this is where you're going to be able to choose between these plans. And I know it's completely for free, so don't worry about it. You can choose this plan and you're going to be able to access these features. But in the case that you're going to be choosing the pro plan, you will be able to access all the features such as an AI diagram repair, you have ChatGPT editor, as well as all the other features that I was talking about previously. And this will give you a good example as to what sort of features are associated with each plan. So definitely choose the plan that is right for you. If you want to give it a free trial, you can definitely do so, but you can also try it for free. Once you have selected your plan, you'll be then sent over to this dashboard where you can start creating your first diagram. You have all your projects organized. You have an organization where you can have it so that other team members can collaborate with your project. And you can do this by going to the team section and inviting people. You can go to the home page, which is a great page for you to get resources. You have the ability to contact them. You have other plugins that you can integrate, such as integrating Mermaid Chart GPT for ChatGPT. You have Confluence plugins, Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, Microsoft, PowerPoint, as well as Word, and so many others. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at these plugins if you're looking to integrate them with the collaboration of Mermaid Chart. Now, the cool thing is that you can create a new diagram from scratch, but you can also have it so that the AI is going to generate this diagram. You can select between these four options. You have flowchart, sequence diagram, 
class diagram as well as state diagram. For flowchart, this is where you're going to be utilizing nodes and shapes, which are building blocks for the flowchart, and it's going to represent the actions or decisions in this process. These are basically the elements that are categorized into four main groups, such as nodes, edges, subgraphs, as well as groups. And you can reference the docs, which will explain this. So if you go to the flowchart, you can see that there's syntax, edges, shapes, as well as examples. A sequence diagram is where it illustrates interactions between objects over time. Then you have class diagrams, which is going to represent a structure of systems. And this is by illustrating the classes, attributes, as well as the operations and relationships between all these different nodes. You have state diagrams, which is going to illustrate the different types of states of an object and transition between the states based on the events. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be describing the generation to be creating a flowchart to calculate the factorial of a given number. What I'm going to do is just create and generate this diagram by simply clicking on this button. Within a couple of seconds, we should have this graph illustrated. So we can see that this flow is quite accurate and it suggests that starts with the user input, initialize the variables with the number, it uses a loop to perform the calculations and it displays the final results. It also is going to emphasize the importance of including decision points to control these two flows. And this is with, I mean, the AI that does it with the program and it's going to ensure that there's a clear starting and ending point for this flowchart. So what we're going to be doing now is creating our first diagram from scratch. So we're going to click on this button over here to create it. It'll then load up a template. And this is a template that you can use to create your own flow map. So in this case, you can see that on the right hand side, you have this UI where you're going to be able to drag different nodes and create this visualization. On the left hand side, you see the code, which is the syntax that is used to create this visualization. And on the left, very far left, you have a menu which is going to give you different components and features to elevate your visualization. For example, you have templates where you can choose between these different templates, such as a block, a mind map, as well as an XY chart, which will give you a good representation of the diagrams that you create. For example, you can create a mind map for this. So you can replace this based off of the template that we've used. You can go to, for example, pie chart, and you can do the exact same thing and get a good representation for whatever data that you have. Now, a really cool feature that I want to mention is the snippet tool. And this is where you're going to be able to edit code snippets by just simply adding or copying the code snippet from this section over here. For example, if you want to add a rectangle to this diagram over here, you can just simply click on the plus button over here. You can change the label to whatever you want. For example, if this is a visualization for invoices, you can then add an invoice node over here or you can add it to a different shape. And this is a really cool feature that is associated with Mermaid Chart. You have an AI assistant, which is something that we're going to be taking a look at soon. And you're going to be able to chat and construct your own visualization with this AI chat. You have a timeline. You have themes that you can choose from, forest, you have base, as well as these other components such as a dark mode, and you also have a neutral mode. You have the ability to export whatever sort of flow that you have created. For example, this pie chart could be exported as an image. I can generate this PNG. Within a couple of seconds, I should have a high rise uh, picture of this pie chart that has been exported. If you go to the settings tab, you can see that there's other sorts of settings where you can auto sync all these different visualizations and if you need any sort of diagram help you can then head over to the docs and it'll assist you now i know you may be asking what's the point of this well it's used to easily understand and analyze all the processes and this is where you can have it so that all the ranges of tasks can be easily described within this visual interface it's a well-made flow chart that will be allowing you to simply understand and show the stages in logical orders so this could be used for teams for your job, for your personal use case, and this will easily allow you to graph out certain components and even allow you to logically help others understand your flow. So it could be as simple as just creating a flow for how to create coffee, the process of making coffee. So for example, I can utilize the AI chat assistant where I'm gonna basically give it a prompt. So I tell it to make me a short flow chart of the process of coffee, of making coffee. And within a couple seconds, we should have a description which will give us a flow. And what you can do is you can either copy this and you, or, or you can actually use the use button which will actually paste it within this graphical interface. And you can see that it shows the process of making coffee. You boil water, prepare coffee grounds, add coffee grounds to the filter, pour hot water over the grounds, let the coffee brew, and serve coffee. 
Now, this is just a basic example for a simple task that we might do every single day. But say if we're going to be explaining code, this is a great method to do so. And the great part is that you can even iterate this flow even further, where you can ask it to expand more on the section of adding coffee grounds to the filter. You can just simply paste this in, and within a couple of seconds, you will have a new flowchart which will expand for the section. So you can then use it, and it will iterate even further within that section. And you can see that it added a couple more sections and you can even add it so that you can remove certain things or add certain features to the flow. So now let's take a look at a practical use case of Mermaid Chart. For example, what I'm going to do now in this case is have it so that it creates a diagram of this whole YouTube video where it will basically visualize what is being said within this video. So what I've done is that I copy this video which is on how to make a flow chart in Mermaid Chart and I went over to a YouTube transcript extractor. So I am going to now copy this transcript, which is all the words that is being spoken within this video. I'm going to then go back to mermaid chart and I'm going to go back to the AI assistant and I'm going to paste this transcript in and I'm going to basically have it requested to create a diagram based off of this. So I'll basically type in, make me a diagram of this transcript and I'm going to click enter. Within a couple of seconds, it's going to be able to generate whatever steps that was taken within this video as different visualization notes so within a second i'm going to be able to utilize this and i can basically click on this use button and you can see that it even colors certain components and we can see that it first starts off by creating an introduction node it's going to then create a new diagram you can do so by working with a basic flow structure you can create nodes and arrows you can set a node id and label it connect the nodes and we can see that it keeps on going forward and you see how you have the conclusion at the end. And we can see from the video that there are certain components that are crucial for creating the flowchart, such as the node ID, and it was able to accurately extract that transcript and create that diagram for that step. So we can see that it's able to set an ID, node ID, and a label. And this is something that it was able to accurately describe and create a flowchart based off of the transcript that it was given through the AI assistant. Now, say if you want to even add another subgraph, you can do so. And you can add another component to this. You can even extend it forward. You can go add different nodes. You can then even select different components so that the color is changed. You can change it to a different node color. You can then add arrows as well as other background colors to change how it basically appeals to whatever sort of requirement that you might have or preference that you might have. And this is the great thing about Mermaid Chart. It gives you a lot of flexibility in all these different components. You can change the border type as well, which is really cool. And like I said before, this is a drag and drop UI, which lets you change certain components of this diagram with this interface. And you can even have it so that you can change the shape as well as the color. For example, we can change this to a circle. You can change this to another shape. And this is the great thing about Mermaid Chart. So let's take a look at some features with Mermaid Chart. First things first, we have text-based diagrams. This is where you're going to be easily able to create these diagrams with text. And this is through Mermaid Syntax, which is quite easy to learn. It lets you create diagrams quite quickly. And at its core, Mermaid includes Syntax, which is for deployment and configuration. And you're going to be able to get the best sort of visualization. You're going to be able to edit diagrams quite quickly with code snippets, where you can insert different types of shapes, edges, subgraphs, actors, notes, or even messages without any sort of extra code. And this is using this drag and drop UI to copy and paste these notes. There's up to 17 different diagrams and chart types. You have flow charts, sequence, and so many others. Another great feature is plugins, where you're going to be able to extend the functionalities of Mermaid Chart with these plugins to visualize diagrams directly in code, which is going to boost efficiency. It's going to be available for ChatGPT, Visual Studio Code, JetBrains ID, you have Microsoft PowerPoint, Word. You also have Confluence, which you're going to access right now. And this is something that I'll leave a link to in the description below. You also have the ability to utilize Google Docs as well as Jira, which is going to be coming soon. The great thing is that this is something that will allow you to share and collaborate with other members, which basically allows you to set permissions and share your diagrams for collaboration. This is probably my favorite feature where you're going to be able to have AI generated summaries where you simply just create a diagram, give it a title and let their embedded AI generate a summary for you. The great thing about Mermaid Chart is that you're going to be able to generate these diagrams from natural language descriptions and this is using their embedded AI chat. 
just type in your description and you're going to let AI handle the rest where you're going to be able to get a generation for whatever context that you give it. Look how easy it is for you to visually create these diagrams. You're going to be effortlessly creating and editing these diagrams with their AI chat feature as well as their visual editor. And you can see within a couple of seconds, you can simply type in a description and you're going to be able to get this generation of this diagram. Now, there's so many other features such as a visual editor. You have a diagram repair feature, light and dark modes, as well as the ability to change themes and even export your diagram with a PNG, a CVG, as well as an MMD. So this allows you to export your diagrams in a variety of different options. Now, I definitely recommend that you take a look at their documentation as it goes further in detail and explains each component better. So I'll leave this in the description below so that it can give you more context and more ideas as to what you can do with Mermaid Chart. And that's basically it for today's video on Mermaid Chart. This is definitely something that I plan on making another video on. Mermaid Chart is definitely an amazing AI text-based editor for creators as well as for personal use cases for graphing out diagrams and flowcharts. This is something that I truly recommend that you take a look at because it's completely for free with the link in the description below. Make sure you follow me on Patreon as this is a great way for you to get access to subscriptions completely for free. These are subscriptions to AI tools and you can get it completely for free by being a Patreon. Make sure you take a look at my Twitter. Great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.